Hello and welcome to the video. Today we will be discussing the differences and similarities between the Canon 24mm and the GDU 24mm. There aren't very many differences, but there are some that I'd like to highlight. Who even is the company GDU? Well, GDU stands for Global Dynamics United. The president and CEO of GDU is the same person who started the company RED, who makes those very expensive, very nice, high resolution film cameras. Straight off the bat, we can see that there's a very clear height difference between the two lenses. But also, there's a lot more weight to the aluminum body compared to the plastic body. In photos, I'd give the slight edge to the GDU lens. There isn't very much of a difference aside from more realistic colors from the GDU lens. But other than that, they're pretty much identical. A nice little added bonus is a built-in UV filter. One of the downsides of the GDU lens is a lack of a focus ring. On the Canon lens, we can see that there's a large focus ring around the iris of the lens. But if we go over to the GDU, there is no focus ring. All of the focusing done on the lens is done electronically. Along with the lens, you also get a little carrying container, a hat, and a little pouch which I use as a pencil case. In my personal opinion, I don't think the lens is worth it. The only major changes you get are a slight bump in image quality and a more premium feeling housing. But if I wasn't looking for a change in image quality, I honestly wouldn't notice it. You shouldn't have to pay three times as much for a slight improvement in image quality and a nicer chassis. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. It does mean a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, get subscribed. I should be posting more frequently now. I've just been a little bogged down with schoolwork, but it's getting better. Thank you again.